Hello everyone. Today we are going to speak about organization of genome. So the uh, the container which I have shown in front of you that is a cell. Okay, so cell is in uh, we know the cell, size of a cell. It is in in micrometer. So it's very small as compared to the DNA size. So how this DNA gets fit inside the cell? That also within the nucleus. so and the nucleus is uh, smaller than cell okay so it is present in the in the cell so nucleus is very smaller than the cell so the dna size is around like it is in centimeters okay so i have shown a smaller container in that uh, that represents actually a nucleus okay so the bigger container is the cell and the smaller container is the nucleus so you can see the size of a nucleus is smaller than the Uh, the cell okay so the dna size is in centimeters so this dna uh, is in centimeters and then the double helix goes on uh, you know coiling coiling first it is in helix form then it becomes uh, like it takes histone proteins for packaging it makes nucleosome a uh, packaged like you you can say that it goes uh, the dna wraps around the histone protein which forms nucleus like this Leu nucleosome sorry it is nucleosome and then it uh, again and like it goes on packaging like packing goes on occurring again and again uh, even there is a use of saffold proteins by use of histone proteins and saffold proteins the coiling again you can see that this is second time coiling where this is now you can say the solenoid formation and the first i told that it's dna then it becomes it takes histone protein and then it makes nucleosome and then again wraps makes solenoid and you can say again wrapping super coil and then finally it becomes a chromosome the pack the packet which i have shown that is a chromosome and this is entirely a packed form okay so this is the condensed form of the dna and it can be fit in, inside the nucleo nuclear uh, nucleus and this is the way the um, dna packing occurs and so the long dna which was in centimeters can be fit into the nucleus and then in nucleus into the cell and finally it gets organized